Hey there fellow PowerPoint lovers. In today's video, I'm going to show you an excellent product for creating e-learning courses quickly and efficiently. If you are at all familiar with PowerPoint, this software will make it extremely easy for you to make e-learning courses, quizzes, surveys and a whole lot more. The software I'm talking about is the iSpring Suite. The iSpring Suite is a fast and user-friendly e-learning toolkit that builds right into your PowerPoint. With the iSpring Suite, you can easily create courses, record narration, put together a quiz and publish your course online even with no experience in e-learning development. And it does all of that by quite simply adding this new tab to your existing PowerPoint software. And I wouldn't be talking to you about this if it wasn't genuinely user-friendly and intuitive. In my short time with using this plugin, I've already got a bunch of creative ideas that I'll share with you in further videos. So let me give you a quick demo of the main features of the iSpring Suite and you can use them to teach, train, engage and entertain your audiences. So let me show you how this works. Once you've installed the iSpring Suite, you'll notice a new tab in your PowerPoint. When you click on this tab, you'll find all the various options you need to create an interactive e-learning course. You'll also find on your desktop a handy quick start guide that gives you all the options for the projects that you might want to create. You can create courses, quizzes, simulations, screencasts, interactions, and even ebooks. Let's open up a pre existing course and explore all the various features and possibilities. As soon as the course loads, you'll notice it looks exactly like a normal PowerPoint presentation. In fact, you can edit all the elements on these slides exactly as you would in any normal presentation design project. And once you're happy with the layout of your design, go over to the iSpring tab and simply click on the preview button iSpring will automatically convert your presentation with all its links and animations into an HTML format that can easily be previewed across a variety of devices. Once the preview loads, you can easily see how your course will look and function on tablets as well as mobile phones. Let's see a few more features of this course. Space Shuttle Program The Space Shuttle Program was the United States government's space program from 1981 to 2011. As you just heard, you can add voice narration to your course as well. In order to edit your voice narration, simply click on the edit slide button and that takes us back to our powerpoint course where we see these narration options let's go to manage narration a new window pops up and here you can see as per every slide there is a voice narration corresponding to the data you can synchronize your audio to the slide or you can even go into edit clip and use the options here like remove noise or even silence certain parts of the audio. It's quite a powerful and useful tool. So once you're happy with your audio, you can save and close it and go back into the course. Let's jump back into the preview and check out even more features. You can link all your headings to 
the various slides in your outline. Let's check out number 5. So here you'll notice, apart from your regular content, you can also link in live reference material. For example, if you click on a link in this reference material, it'll take you to further resources that you can use to expand upon your course. This is a great way to create a self-contained e-learning experience without having to leave the presentation itself. You can also add interactive quizzes to your course. But I'll take you through that in just a moment. First, let's check out how we can publish and share our completed course with our audiences. Let's close the preview and go back to our course. Here we see the publish option. When we click on it, a new dialog box opens up. The first is publish to my computer. You can use this to save your course as an HTML right on your computer or you can even save your course as a video with your slide duration set at a fixed time. You can next save your course to the online iSpring space and make it shareable. You can even use the iSpring LMS or an LMS of your choosing with the type of course format that you would need. And finally, you can also publish your course directly onto YouTube. Once you've chosen your option, just click on Publish and see the magic happen. Next, let's explore how to make an interactive quiz. You have the option to create a graded quiz or a survey. For this video, I'll show you a pre-existing quiz. Let's stick with the space theme and check it out. So once the quiz loads, in the form view, you'll see you can create an intro slide with a title and you'll see the preview in the bottom right corner. Next, we can go and create a question group. The first type of question is a sequence question. So you can arrange the answers in any way you want. And then, in the end, you can also add feedback for your answer, correct or incorrect. The next type of question is a multiple response type option you can add to the quiz. You can click on the right answers and provide feedback. The third option is to create a short answer quiz. And you can give options for acceptable answers within it. And you also have the option to create a fill-in-the-blank style questionnaire. Once we've added all the questions to our satisfaction, we can move from form view to slide view. And here we'll see it looks exactly like an editable PowerPoint presentation. We can go into design and choose different theme colors. We can format the background and we can even add animations just like a regular PowerPoint. Another interesting feature we can create is the results page. Let's preview this. So as you can see, you can review the quiz or even see a detailed report. So it's very easy for your students to analyze everything they've gotten right and wrong in the quiz. We can go back to view results and finish. You can create two branches in the results page, a quiz passed and a quiz failed option. So that's a quick overview of how you can create an interactive quiz using the iSpring Quiz Maker. Next up, let's review the simulation creator. This allows us to create 
an interactive role play simulation to help employees develop conversation and sales skills. This is a great tool to create scenarios for employees to practice their training. In this scenario, we'll take a look at a car salesman training program. The first thing we see when the sample loads is a branching dialogue tree. We can create quite a complex decision tree with relative ease. Let's preview how this would look as an actual training course. The course starts by setting the context and introducing the trainee to a new client. We then have possible scenarios and replies that the trainee can make when a new client approaches them. We can also set an emotional indicator to see how the responses work. As you can see here, the response was incorrect and so the emotion shows dissatisfaction and the trainee ends up losing the client. Let's explore how this was done by going to Edit Scene. In every option that we create in the branching dialogue tree, we have the option to change the content and the possible reply options. And this is where we can set our character emotions as well. We can even go to images and change the type of person or background that we'll need. And of course, you can preview your dialogue simulation under a number of devices and check its functionality. Now that we've seen some of the features we can use to create e-learning courses, let's also take a quick look at the toolbar within PowerPoint. In order to do that, let's go back to the sample course we started out with. We've already taken a quick look at the narration options available in this toolbar. You can also create your quiz interaction, dialogue simulation, and screen recording right here from the toolbar. We also have the option to choose pre-existing slide templates if we don't want to create one from scratch. You'll find many useful options over here. You can also add a number of characters to your course you'll find all sorts of options. And the great thing is, you can even select the characters by the type of emotion that you want to portray in the course. I found that to be quite useful. In the background tab, you'll find many background options that can be used to create various training scenarios and it's quite helpful to find them here. In Objects, you'll find all sorts of PNG style objects that you can add to the training course. And what's useful is that you'll find a multitude of device mockups, etc. You can even add a whole host of icons and emoticons to your presentation. you'll find the slide properties to be quite an important part of the toolbar. It's over here that you decide how your slides progress, whether on-click or automatically. If it's automatic, you can set the slide duration and even create branching options on how the course progresses. If your course has multiple presenters, you can add information about each presenter to their corresponding slide in the properties as well. In order to do that, we can go to presentation resources and go to presenters and add all their data 
and it will automatically be uploaded into the course. So overall, I found the iSpring Suite to be a pretty seamless tool to help you make the process of creating an e-learning course much smoother and easier without having to leave PowerPoint or iSpring. This increases the possibilities and creative freedom you are afforded to create your courses. If you are interested in learning more about this tool, I'll link their website below and I'll also link a playlist that walks you through each and every tool in a much more in-depth manner. I hope you find this content helpful. Hit the like and subscribe buttons to show your love. Once again, thank you for watching and remember to keep on creating.